Over there, I'm standing. Where the fuck you supposed to be? I'm getting money, living life. You know I live in luxury. I'm gonna get right into it, bro. Um, I don't know if y'all already know, but I'm an Eagles fan, and I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, so I'm I'm a Jaguars fan at the same time. Um, the Eagles just hired Dave Caldwell, bro. Who? They said it was like a a personal executive or executive something, bro. It don't it doesn't even matter, bro. Just the fact that they just hired him, bro. It just it really just making me mad, bro. I'm losing I'm losing hope for this team, bro. Like, and I'm 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 sick of it, bro. I'm so sick. Y'all see, I just I still got my goddamn condom on, man. I ain't even. It's getting harder and harder to root for this team, bro. Now, I'm not gonna talk about high rolls and too much on this one, cause we're not gonna talk about dumbasses on here. Other than Dave Caldwell for this this particular this particular video, um, but Eagles fans already know about Howie Roseman, so I'm not going. We ain't, we ain't even gonna discuss him right now. I'm gonna keep it honest with you. Dave Caldwell might be worse than than Howie Roseman. Like, well, what did Dave Caldwell do when he was in Jacksonville? Let's just let me show you real quick, actually. Look at all those players that went after Blake Bortles that year. Let's be real right now. I feel like someone sold their soul for that Super Bowl. Let's think about it. Let's think about it before y'all say I'm crazy, before y'all y'all say whatever y'all have to say. Let's really think about it, bro. Nick Foles, a y'all call Nick Foles whatever you want to, bro. He's a backup quarterback. He hung 41 on Bill Belichick and the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Nick Foles. Tom Brady threw for 505 yards against us, and they still lost. And we haven't been shit since then, literally. Like, I think we had two playoff appearances after that. Was it the, the Saints, and then it wasn't it the Seahawks that we lost both in the first round? And one of them, like, I'm just, I don't even know how that year that, that, that year that we really just got handed the NFC East, <laughs> the one against the Seahawks, uh, we weren't, we weren't supposed to be there anyway, so I'm going to keep it honest with you. Someone sold their soul for that Super Bowl, bro. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Like, Nick Foles really hung 41 on Bill Belichick and Tom Brady and the Patriots in a Super Bowl, bro. A lot of y'all don't think it's so unbelievable because y'all watched it. But really, really think about it, bro. Bro, I just this this is hard, bro. Like, imagine already having a horrible GM, already having a a a poverty GM, and they signing a personal executive or whatever that is. That is is equally in its own right a poverty GM, bro. I I mean what. <laughs> I'm finna go cry, bro. Hold on. I'm sitting here trying to think of like a bright spot in this. And I just can't. I really can't. His first ever draft pick was Luke Jokel. Bust. And he was nothing. And then the very next year he comes back and he drives Blake Bortles, bro. Bruh. Come 
back the next year and you drive Dante Fowler, bro. <laughs> and he declines his fifth year option and then we trade him, bro. You come back and drive Jalen Ramsey, who that was a great pick, I won't lie, but he doesn't play for us anymore, bro. I'm pretty sure he only played here like three seasons, bro. Or only played in Jacksonville three seasons, bro. Come back the next year. You drive Leonard Fournette, who I'm pretty sure we could have gotten Mahomes or Lamar Jackson or whatever other quarterbacks was in that draft. But we drafted Leonard Fournette, bro. <laughs> and then we just, we just, they just cut him last year. We just cut him last year, bro. <laughs> You come back the next year and draft Taven Bryan, bro. I can't do this video no more, bro. I just, I can't do this. I was just summer and nobody helped. And ever since then, when I hit myself, when the fuck it ended, pessimistic. I want to see me when I'm part of pissing. But niggas been inside about a grave and digging. Have a conversation about my haste decisions. Fuck it, sickening. At the same time, memories, I'm still a great bond. But my uncle playing with a slip knot. Puts me out of stress. Got me fucked up, been fucked up. Since a couple months, they have a nigga locked up. How we got any things to hold on?